In this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step method for how to correct your vision naturally. You will learn how to correct your vision without surgery and without glasses. Using this method, my vision corrected to 2020. I'll give you a little history of my eyesight and the origins of this method, and then I'll tell you how I modified the method so it can be done in five or 10 minutes. It can be done at any time in any setting. By the end of this video, you will be able to restore your vision loss and improve your eyesight naturally at home. Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle, and this is Sprinkled with Love and Wisdom. I hope you find this information helpful, and if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I will give you a brief history of my eye health. I got my first pair of glasses around the age of 11 or 12. I wore contacts or glasses until around the age of 25, I believe. I think that my prescription was a negative eight in each eye. I'm not exactly sure about that. Um, but in 1997, I got LASIK surgery. The doctor said that I would need reading glasses sometime after the age of 40. And he also said that I might need LASIK surgery again at some point in my lifetime. Um, LASIK surgery did work perfectly for me until a few years ago. And then I noticed first that I needed reading glasses and then I needed distance glasses again. I really needed bifocals, but rather than get those, I would wear two pairs of glasses like a crazy person. <laughs> I did try to correct my vision naturally. I watched several YouTube videos on how to do this. I tried exercises and whatever I learned on YouTube, but none of those things actually helped me. Next, I'm gonna explain how I found this method and I'll agree that it's going to sound unconventional to most. Even the eye doctor didn't believe me until she checked my vision and saw that I do see perfectly. I also just tested for my driver's license and I now have a driver's license without any restrictions. So whether I understand it or you understand it, I assure you that it does work to correct your vision. And I share this method with you because I really hope it works for you too. In July of 2021, I attended an advanced meditation retreat with Dr. Joe Dispenza. Now, if you go to his YouTube channel, you'll find hundreds of people who are testifying to using his meditations to heal from just about any, any ailment imaginable. But at the time, I didn't know that. I went to the retreat, but I had no intention to heal anything. However, after several days of being at home, I noticed that I could see. And at first I thought it was a fluke. I was in disbelief. Um, I also thought maybe it was a side effect of all the healing energy that was there at the retreat, but I did expect that it would just go away. I didn't understand it and I thought it was temporary and it did go away, but then it got better again. And it took me about a month to figure out how my vision was correcting. Dr. Joe does many meditations where he has you focus on the energy centers of the body. Most people call these the chakras. And from starting and stopping doing these meditations regularly after I got home, I figured out that my vision correcting had entirely to do with these energy centers. I have spent an entire year and a half experimenting with this and refining the process. But before I share that with you, I would really like to encourage you to look into Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. Before I went to his meditation retreat, I meditated all the time on the chakras. I even considered myself an advanced meditator, but it wasn't until after his retreat that my vision corrected. I recommend his book, Becoming Supernatural, where he goes into a great deal of detail about the energy centers in the body. Also his biotech meditation series, biotech stands for blessing of the energy centers. I, I highly recommend all of his books, his meditations, go to his retreats. He's the real deal, honestly. And he provides scientific data for those who need the more Western approach to healing. That being said, what I do is adapted quite a bit from what I learned from Dr. Joe. What I do is much shorter and faster. 
I have learned that my eyes get tired all of the time, whether I'm staring at a computer for a long time or my phone, or when I do artwork for a long period of time, my vision gets blurry. My eyes get strained, so I do this method a lot. Sometimes I do it once a week, sometimes I have to do it every day, sometimes I do it once a month. I have done it often enough that I know that it can be done in a very short amount of time anywhere. Now I'm going to try to simplify this as much as possible, but you still might want to grab a pen. <laughs> So there's very little debate that there are seven energy centers in the body. The first energy center is called the root chakra and it's at the base of your spine. The second energy center is called the sacral chakra and it is behind your navel. The third energy center or the solar plexus chakra is uh, in your upper abdomen. The fourth energy center is in your chest and it's called the heart chakra. The fifth energy center is in your throat and it's called the throat chakra. The sixth energy center is your third eye chakra and it is in the center of your head. And the seventh energy center is called the crown chakra and it's at the very top of your head. After the seven in your body, the others seem to be up for a little more debate. I imagine eight to be about a foot over my head. And then I also imagine that this includes an energy field around my body, sort of like my aura. Now I often work with 12 energy centers and I hope no chakra enthusiasts will come at me for my description of these 12 <laughs> because I actually educated myself a lot about the energy centers but I also just let my intuition lead me to my definition of these. And this is also what I hope that you'll do once you familiarize yourself with these. And sometimes my eyesight is perfect after eight, but oftentimes I have to go up to 12. So for me, nine is yet again, a little higher above energy center eight so uh, several feet above my head and this includes my spiritual team of helpers so my guides my angels loved ones whatever um, team is helping me i consider energy center 10 to be several feet underneath my uh, my feet into the ground so that it is tapped into the energy of mother earth I consider energy center number 11 to be the energy center of my higher self. And I do picture all of these connected inside of me, even though they extend outside of me. Energy center 11, I consider it to be a straight column above my head, shooting way up into the cosmos. And comment below if you want me to make another video about the higher self because I know some people are not going to be familiar with that term. And lastly, I imagine energy center 12 to be the source of life, anything that you call your higher power. Now, as I focus on each energy center, I might just repeat the number as I go up. Sometimes I attach the traditional color that is assigned to each chakra. Sometimes I chant a mantra that's related to each traditional meaning of each chakra. Sometimes I imagine the source of life giving energy to each chakra. And then I also try to balance them with each other as I move up so that they are actually all aligned by the end. I do this very quickly. It's a very quick process. And again, sometimes my vision is perfect by eight but then sometimes I have to go to 12. I don't generally get into any sort of meditative state or even close my eyes. I do it a little bit differently every single time. So I don't think that it specifically matters how you give energy to these centers. It's just the focusing and the balancing on this, the centers themselves. You just need to find what works for you. And I think that this is very important. There is a lot of debate about these energy centers because of course we can't see them. So I think that it's best that you educate yourself about the centers and then you can use your, your own intuition on what works best for you. 
I think when you start practicing, you'll see what I mean by this. Now I have done this countless times. My eyesight gets blurry, but it never ever corrects unless I balance my, my energy centers. Now, if I try to just focus on my eyesight, correcting my eyesight, it doesn't work. If I just try to focus on that particular energy center behind my eyes, it does not work. If I try to focus on four of them, it does not work. Sometimes, like I said, it will work after eight or sometimes it takes all 12. It can be done anywhere, even sitting in your car. It can take as little as five minutes, although usually it takes me a little bit longer than five minutes. It generally takes a little bit longer to give adequate attention to each energy center. I do think that it works best if I can take a walk and get some fresh air. To be honest with you, I am completely amazed that it works every single time. I'm complete awe and gratitude every single time it works. I know some of you would like a very specific process on how I do this and comment below if you want me to make a video actually going through the process with you. I didn't do that this time because I just wanted to give you the information about the senders and let you come up with your own way to bless them or give them energy. However, I would be willing to do another video where I actually go through the process with you. I know this works to heal. I don't understand how or why, but I know it works for me. Will this fix my eyesight forever? That I don't know, but I have not needed glasses one time in a year and a half. Not once, not reading glasses, not distance glasses. So I think that it's worth a try for you to try it so that perhaps it can fix your vision also. I sincerely hope that you find this information helpful and that this method works for you. May every single one of you see perfectly and clearly from this day forward.